Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Jewelry Nurse and welcome to my channel. If you're new, we do live videos on Sunday. We talk about jewelry and I show you all my hauls during the week. So I do have some silver hauls and that I will show you on Sunday. But today I am really excited because I found five jars today at my favorite Goodwill, like three about this size that were $15.25. Three of them, yay, three, three jars. And they look like there might be some good things. I see some silver pieces and some new things in there. And then there was one smaller one, this one for like $10.25. And then a great big one that was also $15.25. So um, I think it was in total like a little over 75 but I had my 20% um, off card because they don't do um, like a seniors or anything there but they do that 50% off of a certain tag every day and of course jewelry I've never seen that be on sale but so I saved my discount card where you stamp it every time you buy over $15 they stamp it so I always save those cards for um, when I get several jars but that's I've never seen five jars there before so that was really cool and then I had found because I couldn't find any jars I got desperate so I bought this at um, CHKD which is uh, Children's Hospital for the King Do King's Daughters and this was like $21 um, after this veteran no um, military discount so anyways uh, it's not it looks like a lot of beads and stuff so but anyways like i said i was desperate so bought it because i hadn't been able to find any jars in a while but today i'm going to save all um, those for later because i still have three of these really big um like nine ten pound lots from shop um shop shop goodwill and so i want to go ahead and knock that out because i've had those since i came back from kansas so i'm going to go ahead and pause for just a second and get some of this stuff out of my way okay ready to roll so yeah seems silly that i had these three big old 10 pound lots back there but i was worried about jars right um, when I can't find them, I start getting nervous that I'm going to have to order more from Shop Goodwill. But so far, I haven't had to in a while. So let me go ahead and open this and see what we got. If you are new uh, and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. And um, if you would, give me a thumbs up on the way out. So, check this out. Lots of jewelry. Like I said, gonna take a few, um, gonna take a few videos to get through this. Now, this is supposed to be unsorted, and it's been so long since I bought these, I don't even remember what I paid for it, but it does look like there's some pretty cool stuff in there. So, let me make some room. I'm gonna scoot the camera back just a bit. Okay, let me pull out a little. Okay, first this big giant earring. It's gold tone and it's a clamp on. It's a clip on. It's kind of lightweight. It's no mo no name on it. It's not it's not super good quality. Yeah, I don't see any name on it, but that's huge clip on, right? That definitely looks like uh 80s there, possibly even 60s. Um, quality though tells me it's more like 60s, I mean 80s. Then a stretchy pearl bracelet. It has, it actually has a little mark on it. You know what? Just remembered, I forgot to grab my eyeball out of my purse. Hold one second. Okay, sorry about that. I realized I forgot my loop in my purse and I definitely can't read any of this without it. There are some little tags on there. I don't know if that says anything, but let's find out. Uh, RMN, let's see if it says the same thing. These feel like faux, they don't feel real, they're too lightweight. Got good luster, but yeah, RMN, not sure what that stands for, but if you know, leave me a comment. And I'm not going to stretch those like I did last time and end up throwing it everywhere. And then a pewter cross. But it's not 
Oh no, you know what? This is some kind of metal and it looks like somebody's project. It doesn't have a loop or anything on it. It just looks like it's cut out of a piece of like aluminum, like thick aluminum. It is, it just says God loves you. So that will go into my jar for my church. And then this, this says Wickless Rockstar. It almost looks like a bottle cap. And it's just on a piece of, like, faux suede. I don't know. Is that a band? Yeah, Wickless. W-I-C-K-L-E-S-S -S, Rockstar. Anybody know what that means? Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, I'm wearing the brooch. I've been wearing it for most of the week, ever since I, and last week, too, ever since I put the silver um, use the silver pen on it and so far it seems to be staying on pretty well um, it was a kind of a gold tone but this turned it silver but the thing I don't like about it and this um, Angie mentioned this too is it's a matte it's not shiny so you can only really use it on large areas if you're doing like a matte color oh these are kind of cute it's a three-tone pierced they're well made. It almost looks it's like a copper color inside, um, but it looks like the the brass is the um, copper is tarnished, but it's copper, silver, and gold. And oops, sorry, let me see if it has a mark on it. It's kind of a nice earring, though. Yeah, I don't see any marks, but. I like that one. Put the earrings in there. Okay, then a stretchy bracelet. This has got the red hats on it. So I guess it's a red hat society. Not learned not to stretch those. <laughs> so yeah, I broke a couple last week. Yeah, that was kind of funny. But yeah, just um, acrylic beads. Nice hats though. I like the hats. <laughs> Then a reindeer, this plastic reindeer, just a regular old, uh, don't think it's vintage, I think it's just some, one that somebody made, there's no marks on it anywhere, but, um, oh wait a minute, yes there is, says something, it would help if I had that going the right direction, um, HMK CDS. Hallmark something, I guess. Um, and I guess it must be Hallmark. It must have come with like a Christmas card or something. Okay, another clip-on earring. This one looks like it was floating around in somebody's bag. And it has got something nasty on it, like old gum maybe. <laughs> it does not say anything. It's not marked. We'll see how well that cleans up. It's really close to a pair of um, Monet clip-ons I have, though. Hopefully it clears up. Okay, here is a ring. It's missing a center stone, and it does look, it's silver tone. It is that type of adjustable. It might be Avon because, yep, guess what? It's Avon. It's going to say I've had a couple of Avon rings that have this type of a uh, um, sizer thing it clamps around your finger to make it tighter so instead of squeezing but it is missing whatever the silver stone is looks like two faux hematites and then there was something in the middle but and there, there's a couple of stones right here but not silver oh this is pretty it's um not enamel, but uh, no marking. There's some discoloration on the back, but cloisonne is the word I'm looking for. It does look like true close cloisonne, though. It's pretty. I like that one. Oh, cool. Here's the mate. So nice. At least it has a mate. Those are pretty. So I did decide I am going to fill a... Um, 
a purse full of jewelry for my 500 subscriber giveaway is what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then a silver tone, um, looks like a dove maybe there, pierced fish hook. And no markings, nope, need some cleaning up. It's got good silver color though, I mean gold color though. It looks like it could possibly be gold plated, but it's not marked, so probably not. But it's that right color of gold. That'll go in the looking for a mate. Oh, a lot of earrings in this one. That's cool. This one's really awesome. This looks like an 80s earring. It's enamel. It's not marked. It's pierced. Gold tone on the back. But this, oh, wait a minute. I take that back. I do see a mark. Keep saying that too fast. It is Don Lin, D O N dash L I N. Not sure who that is, but I'll have to look that up. So hopefully the mate is in there because it is marked. And then just a like laid, like inlaid enamel kind of um, earring, inexpensive, no markings, pierced gold tone. Whoops. If you guys are not getting a good picture of the jewelry, please let me know if it's not coming in clear and I will change my setup. God, I see a lot of little um, pierced earrings. Here are some, oh, these are nice. These are little star shaped and they have, these may be the kind they give you, but they're, they're prong set. So I'll have to check these with my diamond tester. I don't know if these are the ones they give you when they pierce your ears or what, but let me take a look and see. Make sure these are not 14 karat. Need a cleaning, that's for sure. Yeah, I think these are just plated, but they are very nicely prong set, so I'm going to put those aside. They're both there. I'm going to heat up my diamond tester while we look at something else. course I couldn't be well I guess I am been blessed I was gonna say I couldn't be blessed enough for it to be diamonds but lately I have been blessed with the jewelry so I won't even say that okay we'll let that warm up a little bit and then we'll test these wouldn't that be cool probably not though I, I think it's the kind they like when you used to get your ears pierced back in the 70s and 80s they used to give you these little studs Okay, then just some little plastic child's earrings, little whale or dolphin, something. And then these little flowers, these look, these are kind of cool. Children's earrings. And the same type, I like that. The curly quick. Those are cute. But same as the green ones. And then the mate to that one. Let me check this one and see if it's marked. Because sometimes only one earring is marked. I discovered that last week. Now, I these are definitely copper, it looks like, with the um, silver and gold plating. Yeah, it's not sticking, so I think they are copper. But those are cute. I like those. Need a little cleaning up, but they're pretty. And a little either pendant or earring. It's got a AB crystal in there. So I don't know if that fell off of something, but it's not marked. Yep, no markings. And a chain. Let's see if this is sterling. Oh, nope, it's gold tone. A nice made chain, though. It's just missing a. Nope, nope, the ring's there. It's got the, um, it's a rope chain. Let's see if it has any marks on it anywhere. Oh, it does. It says. Oh, it actually says 925, so I guess it's for May. Yep, 
Yeah, nice, 925. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But. So first silver in the shop goodwill. It's a pretty nice long chain too. It looks like it's about probably at least 24 inches. Yeah, maybe longer. That's half of it. So probably about 24 inches, maybe 28. Nice chain though. Okay, let's see. My diamond thing is warmed up. Let's see what this says. Probably going to say wishful thinking. Yep, saying wishful thinking, not diamonds. Put those off to the side. Oh, now you beep, right? Okay, another silver tone hoop, and this one's marked. Looks like another silver hoop. Hmm, yep, silver. It's AS and then 925, so it has a maker's mark too, but nice, nice silver hoop. So, second silver already. And, huh, not sure what these are supposed to be. Let me take them apart. Maybe we can figure it out here together. These are clip-ons. They're just little, like, cones with, I'll just stop dangling there. I don't know what that is supposed to be. It almost looks like a one-eyed cyclops, <laughs> like a big smile with a, Eyeball in the middle, yeah, not real sure if that's supposed to be something. There are no marks anywhere. Check both earrings. At least I'm getting pairs so far. Oh, that reminds me. I did run into the other man in the Goodwill today who buys the jars, who is my competition, and um, discovered that he's mostly looking for men's jewelry when he looks for jars so he actually let me have all the jars today um, and he is going to meet me down there with all of his one-of-a-kind um, earrings so that we can trade them out so that's nice okay these are marked oh wow okay so these are 14 karat gold filled it says right there thought they were because they look Right there it says, well, somewhere there, I lost it, right there, it says 14 KGF, somewhere right in there, but these are cute, It's and this is really pretty, it's the dichroic glass, but look how pretty that one is, I like that, hopefully this, the other one is in there, that's really nice, lots of earrings, this is pretty too. It's um, the dyed shell, sort of a coffee color, almost purplish. Pretty. I like that one. Let me see if it's marked. No, no marking, but it looks like brass on the top. Yeah, not sticking to the magnet. So the um, the fittings do, like the little rings and those beads do. But the top part is not, so I think it's brass. Brass or plated copper. And then this is just a inexpensive enameled pierced earring. And then another gunmetal acrylic beaded earring. Oh, and look at this brooch. Isn't that beautiful? It's a rose with um, pink enameling and green, and it's that um, metallic look almost. Very pretty enameling, and it is marked. Let me get the thing out of the way so I don't poke myself in the eyeball. I think I'm pretty happy with this one so far. 1997 Elegante. Oh, no. England's England's Rose, 1997 England's Rose. So 
so that's really nice. It has the really nice um, plating on it too. So I'll have to then a little um, teardrop shape and then in the middle a little crystal. That's nice though. I've not heard of that before though, but I'll have to look it up. But that's one of the prettiest brooches I've gotten so far as far as roses. And this is really cute. It's one of those stretchy ring silver tone. It's got a key hanging from it and a little heart with a lock and the um, pave, sort of pave, not really, and then all the faux um, beads. That's a nice one though. That one's a really pretty one. I'm going to have to do a lot of these because I get, I have a lot of these. These are pretty though. This one's really pretty. And it is well made. I don't see any marks, but I like that. That's nice. Okay, another earring, just silver tone with black acrylic beads or cabochons. Cute though. Pierced. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. And then the mate to this. Put those once I matched them up in there. So, so far I found the mates to most of these. and only got like four stray ones so far. Then this big old clip-on. have one very similar to this already. No marks, just a clip-on. Just a plastic. It's actually not even metal. And then a blue plastic stone in the middle. Or plastic setting and then every bag's gotta have these big old shell almost sunset colors from like yellow gold all the way to red or orange no markings I always check these wires because a lot of times, like this one's sort of tarnished, and especially when they look tarnished, so a lot of times the wires themselves are silver. But don't see nothing on the, nothing. Don't see anything on that one. Then um, one of these homemade pendants, the glass with an S inside. So San Juana, that will go into your pile. And then a star and I do not see any marks does have a decent chain with it yep no marks decent chain though so San Juana that'll be for you and then an 80s big old enamel Oh good, here's the mate to that other one that had the designer mark on it, so that's nice. What did I do with that other one? I don't even know what I did with the first one. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. So there's a pair of those. Oh, these are cute. Not marked. A little old, like um, quarter of a circle. It's sort of a teal green color like a blue green pretty though no marks gold tone on the back I like this one this one's pretty this one go cute with what I'm wearing kind of it's a little too green another earring silver tone it has like raised up settings like the stones are in a raised up setting there they look at this close up yeah they're just like bezel set and then the ones around the outside are glued in and it is just costume jewelry not silver but cute i think i dumped all of the earrings out in the beginning there Okay, another earring. This one is really cute, too. I like this. It's almost, it looks like stained glass. 
It's not, but I mean, that's what it looks like. It's not really cloisonne. It's sort of made to look like it, um, but it's not cloisonne. But that's cute. I like that one. And I thought I saw the other silver earring here. I guess I didn't. This must have been what I saw. Another um, post silver tone. I think I've got several just like this. If the mate isn't in there, I know I have a couple of spares like that. And then this is missing something. So this is either a 70s type earring and the way it's constructed, it doesn't look like it. Um, or it's missing something. Somebody didn't complete it. Wow, lots of earrings. Oh, this is pretty. This is... Um, quartz the pink quartz and white quartz there like the milky quartz and pink quartz so somebody is going to purchase that pink quartz necklace for me so if um, the other one is in the bag I'll send those with that pink quartz necklace oh I like this this is really cute isn't that cute well y'all know I like red anyway but it's just a pretty design and it's very well made Okay, the, oh, the back, so I hope the other one is in there, because this is very cute. It's like door knocker style, sort of, but it almost looks nautical. Does that look nautical, like a life preserver, sort of? Let me see if I see any marks. Yeah, this, um, it's not marked anywhere that I can see, but it almost looks gold-plated. Yeah, it isn't though because it's not marked, but it's got really good gold color to it. Very well made and in very good condition. So, oh, well, oh, somebody did me the courtesy of putting these together at least. And these are cute. I like these. Look at these earrings. Aren't those nice? See how, and these are well made too. It's got, um, Got some glass and metal beads on there. It looks like glass, metal, and wood beads. And you see if it's marked. These are very well made. It does have a designer mark inside, but it is not letters. So I don't know. Let me see if I can show it, and y'all tell me if you recognize it. Leave me a comment if you do. Yeah, that's the only mark I see, but these are really nice. Let me see if I can get that to, oops, on there where you can actually see the mark. Maybe not because it's in an awkward place, but. Hmm. Almost. Right there. It looks, there's like two symbols. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, I can't really show you the second symbol because it's down in there, but um, if anybody recognizes those, let me know, but those are really cute. And yeah, same symbol in the other one, nothing different. Yeah, these don't look like cheap earrings. These look like a better, higher-end designer to me. Oh, isn't that cute? Special mother pen. Cute. And a little clip-on gold hoop. Not marked, but in very good condition. Lightweight, though. Okay, so two little mismatch earrings, two little earrings on this card, but they don't match. One is peridot color, and the other one is clear, and too little. I don't see any marks, but yep, there you go. 
then these crosses these are really cute very delicate little pink rhinestone crosses those are cute though I like that I gotta stop saying those are cute that's getting annoying isn't it sorry <laughs> let's see if they're marked anywhere Yeah, I don't see any marks in it. Are y'all getting tired of earrings yet? Sorry. Hopefully there, well, there is a lot more than earrings in here. I just happened a bunch of them plop out when I pulled that out. Here's another little diamond looking thing. Like, I doubt it's real, but let me turn my diamond thing back on. I should have left it on. And we'll test it here in a second. I'll put that aside. And then this looks like a little emerald and it's prong set. It's just like the um, other ones, a little star. So I'm guessing these are, wait a minute, there is something inside there. Didn't think to look on the other one. Um, Super studs trademark. So I think these are the definitely the little studs they give you when they pierce your ears with the gun okay let's test this no no diamond Now leave that on. I'll just turn it down so it doesn't overheat. Okay, and then a oblong gold hoop. Yeah, it's not marked anywhere. Just a gold hoop. I don't know what I did with my... Yeah, it's magnetic. Oh goodness, more children's earrings. These are cute little cows. And a like little tennis bracelet. It's blue and clear stones and it is gold tone. Um, let me see if there's any marks. It's nicely made, but it's definitely not the real thing. Too bad. Oh, wait a minute. There is some kind of mark there. I don't know. This is just Nyx. Yeah, I don't see any marks. I will test this, though, because it is the right color. Um, let me test the stones. No, no diamonds. Glass, stretchy. Oh, oh yeah, it is a stretchy, but those are all glass beads, so those are pretty. So this is the kind of thing that I put in my um, crafters lots and I am going to get those listed for you this week I did get some Heidi Dawes bracelets listed this week I got four of them listed so if you're interested in the Heidi Dawes just go look on my eBay it um, is under jewelry nurse little mushrooms little children's earrings and this is really pretty this earring It is, looks like marcasites. Yeah, it's marcasites. And uh, let me check it. Oh, there went my magnet, knocked it off. Yeah, no marks. It's the gunmetal. Even the back is gunmetal, but that's a cute earring. And then a, just a little 
inexpensive gold stud and another little star looks like I had a pack of children's here and then check out this baby yeah if that were real I'd have Joan beat yeah that's dirty it's a prong set so worth checking It's just a big old CZ. Wouldn't that be nice, though? One of these days. Guy today did tell me he found uh, some diamond earrings in one of the jars one time, too. So they were good-sized diamonds, like um, almost a quarter carat between the two in one of these jars. Okay, just a gold or a silver chain. feels like it actually feels like nickel maybe yeah yep so that'll that'll go on my crafters lot because um one of you said you like getting chains in there and then looks like a homemade beaded earring i have a bunch of these i made back in the 80s mid late 80s Lots of earrings. Another. Now that's kind of cute. It's just um gold tone. Nothing fancy. It is very tarnished though. Yeah, not the real thing. Cute though, kind of delicate. Okay, then a very well-made bracelet, and it has a toggle. It's got some good weight to it. It's got some hematite beads and just some silver and glass beads. Just cute, though. Two little dangles there, and I don't see any marks anywhere. Nope, no marks, but well-made bracelet. Then just a little button-style clip-on. Looks like it's seen its better days. A little wobbly, no marks. Oh, this is cute. Brooch. Huh. We'll have to look that one up. It says, um, Gobel, Gobel, Germany. That's nice. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't recognize this type of a clasp. Look at that clasp. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. See that? But isn't that cute? It's ceramic. Or, um, yeah, I'd say it's ceramic, but that's cute. So I'm going to have to look that one up. That one's German. Don't know if that's vintage or not. Might be. Looks like it could be. Then a very nice silver chain here. But I don't think it's real silver. Yeah, I don't see any marks anywhere. But nice silver chain and it has a pendant. And the pendant says... That band again, Wickless Rockstar. So I guess I'm getting old because I don't recognize that um, what that is. So if you all recognize it, let me know. But that is the same one as the as the bottle cap. I don't know if that's a local band or if I'm way off the mark, it's not a band at all. Then another one of these glass pendants. This is a pretty one. And this one actually is marked on the back. Um, it says, it looks like somebody painted that on, Jamie, J-A-M-I-E, so it looks like whoever crafted that painted the name on, pretty pendant though, 
And then the matching red um, 80s pierce earring, enamel earring. So there's another pair. And then a, these are the glass. This is pretty. These are the glass and it's stretchy um, cat's eye beads. Got some pretty colors in there. I like that color there. So, not bad. And then one gold tone. Those are pretty though. Another pierced earring. I guess it's metal disc. Little metal disc and they look like they were colored at one point. Yeah, painted or something. No markings. Okay, then another flower shaped earring. It's a pierced earring. It's actually good that I get because I give away a lot of free earrings with everything I sell. I give a cup an earring, at least one pair, maybe more. Yeah, not silver, it's really lightweight. And it has the little need some cleaning it up for sure. I can't even tell if all the stones are there. It's so dirty. No, it's missing a couple of stones. So, craft lot to harvest the rest of the stones. And then one of these with the embroidery like threading in it. I remember when these were really popular though in the 90s. And the flag US flag pin and it has the number I guess this is a bicentennial 1976 and then this big old necklace this is nice you know I'm gonna have to show this to Sandy because this almost looks like let me see if it's marked these bigger chunks almost look like the real turquoise, but I don't know. Maybe they're trying to make it look like it. The beads, not so much, but they're completely different color, though. They're all different colors. So don't know on that one. They really don't look like halite. Hmm. See that? Maybe they are, but they sure did a good job of disguising that if they are. Hmm. Nice, though. Have to have that checked out and see if that is halite or turquoise. Most of the time I can tell, but I can't tell on that one. Cute. Peacock. Dangle earring. It's almost a... It's a really, really... um. Got to look to see if that had a mark. No, no mark. Um, let me get my magnet. Yeah, this, this, um, the jump rings are sticking, but it almost looks, it's like a serious gold color, like, um, 24 karat plating almost. I mean, it's that color. I don't think it is, but it's that color. Yeah, I don't see any marks on it, but that's kind of cute. Cute earring. Some enameling and rhinestones. Another pair of girls' earrings. Um, tulips, I guess. Little tulips. And here is the mate to that. So... There you go. If you still get the um, ear, the necklace, there's earrings that go with it. And, oh, this is pretty, too. Okay, so this is the 70s. Got the kidney, um, kidney style hook. And look at this glass. Isn't this pretty? This is a beautiful earring. It's glass with the um, gold foil inside and 
have to test this but always test these um, when you get them because a lot of these are gold and this one looks like it could be and they weren't always marked hardly ever were they marked when you bought a pair of gold earrings with these type they were they were hardly ever marked that's really cute though I hope the other one's in there I like that one and then another just another gold ball and that one also is marked on the back and it probably says the same thing yeah um what oh no this one says sterling studs sterling something Yeah, it says sterling studs, huh? So it must be Hermes, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I can almost see where the, it's worn off on the tip on that one. Okay, then a... Oh, nice bracelet. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to faint. If this is okay no it doesn't say Pandora I saw that and I said I am gonna faint if this is a gold Pandora let me pop it open yes I will pass out right here let me see if it says anything No, I guess it's just a knockoff, but this is the first time I've gotten one of these in gold tone. Yeah, it's sticking to the... Oh, nope, that's the chain that's sticking to the magnet. That's not, so I'll have to test this, but it does have a lot of beads on it. That one opens too. I'll have to check all these beads out individual. So it looks like they've got a lot of silver beads on a gold tone bracelet. Got some pretty beads on it though. All green color. Hmm. Crazy. Not seen one of these like this. These um, bead stoppers here pop open to the same way the class does. But I'll check that out better later. Nice. That's a nice bracelet. I like that one. More studs, more diamonds. This one's a gold tone this time. Let's see, I still have my batter, my diamond tester on. So I am into. Oh, sorry, I just touched the metal. Nope, it's not. So I am going to pause this and start um, part two because I'm getting into 47 minutes here. So, um, yeah, I don't see any kind of markings on this. Just a little diamond, faux diamond stud. Like, almost, it's prong set. It might even be a CZ. And I do not see anything on the back. So, nope, I take that back. There is a mark on the back. Hmm, it says R on it. So, oh, you know what? Oh, no, it's not for a minute. I thought it was a screw back and I just pulled it right off. Yeah, so for some reason, these little studs, they're marked R. Right and left. Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm going to pause it and start the second part. So, thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe on the way out. Please hit the like button and please leave a comment. I love your comments. And if I don't answer it like right away, I will get back to it. I answer each and every comment. And um, please join me on Sundays, 4 p.m. Eastern Time for a live chat and to look and talk about jewelry and my hauls. So love you all and um, just stay tuned for part two.